Yo, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna learn, or you guys are gonna learn, how to wheelie in five easy steps. Disclaimer, I'm not the best stunner. I do feel like I'm underqualified to be making anything other than a beginner video. So, so yeah. I'm gonna do like a quick little overview and then we'll go ahead and hop into the tutorial. One thing I do recommend for you guys is definitely doing your clean airbox mod and coming to a lot like this. Please don't learn on the streets. The last thing I want you guys to do is go out on a road, a busy road, try to implement these steps and then something bad happens and you know, someone's not paying attention. This is the lot that I learned how to wheelie at guys. This, Honestly man, this brings back so many memories. Being back here with my new bike and everything, the feelings are just surreal man. But all right. And I do recommend you learning in first gear. That's just what I recommend. You can learn in second, but I feel like you have to go faster in second. And the slower you do your wheelies, the more control you'll have over them down the road. You don't want to just send it going 40 miles an hour in second gear right off the bat. With that in mind, in first gear, you really, really, like I would learn in first gear, but don't try to get balance point in first gear, if that makes sense. Just stick around, guys. You'll, you'll get what I'm saying. You'll get what I'm saying. Step number one is going to be covering your rear brake every single time. I like to tap it right before I do the wheelie just so I like tell myself, hey, use this thing. That is the most important thing that you need to learn is that rear brake right there. Step number two is going to be going at the correct speed. In first gear, it's pretty much the same on all 600s. It's around 20 miles an hour. Step number three is a is really a three-part step because it's all it's all one motion. This is like rev matching, guys. It's not like you holding it, really getting it, and then letting go. It's the same thing as rev matching. You just want to pull it in, rev it, and then dump it. It's just like just like that. I'm not gonna try and do too many out here because I don't want to make anybody upset. And then again, I really need to do my clear and airbox mod on my bike. So I'm really trying to tone down on the wheelies. Step number four is once you get the bike up, use that rear brake that we were talking about in step one to bring your bike down. Please don't get into the habit of using your throttle, your engine braking to bring you down because you're just gonna end up looping in the end. If you don't know what looping is, it's whenever you go all the way back, 180 degrees. And step five is to apply throttle on your way down so you don't slam your forks. And that's pretty much all it is, guys. Um, there's really nothing much to that whenever you're just trying to get the bike up. Of course, there's so many other factors that go into balance point, coasters, scrapes, all that stuff, but we're not, you're not gonna really be worried about that right now. All you wanna make sure you're worried about is how to properly execute a wheelie and do it the safest way possible. If we go back over the steps, so cover that rear brake, go at this correct speed, clutch in, throttle, clutch out, rear brake, throttle. This is pretty much all you got to do and just repeat rinse and repeat this process until it's muscle memory until you don't have to think about it just like starting up your bike taking corners braking rev matching changing gears things that you don't really think about but you just do and then once you get that that in your subconscious then that's whatever you really start pushing yourself don't worry about how long you're doing your wheelies how, but yeah to the audience They'll be like, oh yeah, cool, whatever. But all the bikers are gonna be like, they they know, they know. Someone in the stunt community would much rather see you practicing, get to balance point, than just chasing your wheelies out when you're like 15 inches off the ground, you know? Um, it's all about respect, respect for the bike, respect for, respect for other people, um, things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple what you really need to focus on and what it what it's gonna look like whenever you're out here practicing. Like that was a little rough. I brought it down too hard with my rear brake and didn't smooth it out. I need to practice too guys. I'm not, you know, Brian 636. I'm still learning myself, but I want to teach you guys 
you know, how to at least pop it up. You know what I'm saying? Do it again. That was better. Bringing it down with your rear brake every time. Don't get in the habit of letting off with the throttle. It needs to be your rear brake. It needs to be. Take your time. Don't worry about trying to be the best out the gate. Just be better every single day. Also, another tip is you want to kind of scoot back in your seat. And don't, like when you're going up, don't lean forward. Like clutch up and then kind of just like scoot back. Like lean back a little bit. You don't want to like yank your yank your handlebars because then you're just going to whiskey throttle. Almost like you're pushing off your bars. That and throttle control is so important. So, so important. Because one inch or one centimeter too far could make or break your day. So let's do it again. That's all it is. But yeah, that pretty much goes for the video, guys. Uh, if you all have any questions, need any advice, you can always either drop a comment or reach out to me on social media. I like to try and respond to everybody in a timely manner. If you guys are actually asking me questions. But yeah, hopefully one day you can just pull out fat wheelies. Later. Woo!